trouble. I'm not here. You don't care, Tom, Jim. Good, good break. I did. Uh, I did. You know what's interesting is that Oscar is, is believed to be the Lazarus killer is back in the Senate. In the, in the Senate. Yep. That is interesting. I wonder if that's because of the... <clears throat> Adam and ask Karen. Reoriented. Yeah. Also, when they did their projects, it's 2013. They were all like. Good evening. I'd like to call the Durham City Council meeting to order for my, uh, for Tuesday, January the 2nd at 7 p.m. And I certainly want to welcome all of you all in attendance and especially want to wish everyone a happy new year. We're very, very glad to see you here tonight. Uh, could we now please pause for a moment of silent meditation? Thank you. I would like to uh, recognize Council Member Reese. Um, Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We are joined tonight by Boy Scout <coughs> 461. If they would come on up here and help us out with the pledge, that would be great. Um, on their way up, I'll just let folks know that if it is your practice to do so, and if you're able, if you could rise and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance, that'd be great. Thank you. Hello. All right. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you all very much for being here. And now, uh, Madam Clerk, could you please call the roll? Mayor Shule? Here. <coughs> Councilmember Alston? Here. Councilmember Freeman? Present. Councilmember Middleton? Here. Councilmember Reese? Here. Thank you very much. You did that very well. Did you Mayor Pro Tem Johnson. Did you miss anyone? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, not quite as well. <laughs> <laughs> but it was your first attempt, Diana. Good job. Thank you. Um, and, and we're very, we appreciate you being here and your interim role. And Tonetta, thank you for filling in tonight as well. Appreciate you. Uh, and now we're, I'm going to introduce the ceremonial items. And we have two, we have two ceremonial, ceremonial items tonight. And the first is um, a proclamation regarding National Mentoring Month. And I'm going to ask Councilmember Reese if he would uh, do the honors tonight. Do we have anybody here for that? We do. Uh-huh. Uh, Doran Langley and uh, others, I believe. Yes, and, and others. <clears throat> this 
Samson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, members of the public, for being here tonight. <clears throat> We're doing a proclamation tonight on National Mentoring Month, and I appreciate the mayor for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I'll read this, and then we'll give uh, Dewan a chance to uh, say a few words, if that's all right with you. Awesome. Whereas in 2002, the Harvard School of Public Health and Mentor, the National Mentoring Partnership, created National Mentoring Month, and whereas the goals of National Mentoring Month are to raise awareness of mentoring, recruit individuals to mentor, and encourage organizations to engage and integrate quality and mentoring into their efforts, and to motivate youth to persevere even in the toughest of times. And whereas a mentor is a caring, consistent presence who devotes time to a young person to help that young person discover personal strength and achieve their potential through a structured and trusting relationship. And whereas quality mentoring encourages and empowers young people to make positive choices, promote self-esteem, support academic achievement, and introduces young people to new ideas that put them on a path for making better life decisions to improve opportunities. And whereas mentoring programs have shown to be effective in combating school violence and discipline problems, substance abuse, incarceration, and truancy, and whereas mentors help young people set career goals and use their personal contacts to help young people meet industry professionals and find jobs. And whereas youth development experts agree that mentoring is critical to the social, social, emotional, and cognitive development of youth, helping them navigate the path to adulthood more successfully. Now, therefore, I, Stephen M. Shule, Mayor of the City of Durham, North Carolina, do hereby proclaim January 2018 as National Mentoring Month in Durham, and hereby call upon public officials, educators, business and community leaders, as well as encourage all citizens to observe this month with appropriate ceremonies, activities, and programs in order to, number one, recognize the men and women who serve as staff and volunteers at quality mentoring programs who are helping our young people find inner strength and to reach their full potential. Number two, promote the creation and expansion of quality mentoring programs here in the city of Durham and across the country to equip young people with the tools needed to lead healthy and productive lives. And number three, support initiatives to close the mentoring gap. Witness my hand in the corporate seal of the city of Durham, North Carolina, the second day of January 2018, and it's signed by Stephen M. Shule, mayor of the city of Durham. So, congratulations. Got the Warren Langley here. He's going to say a few words. Um, here you go. Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council, thank you so very much for proclaiming January as Mentoring Month. Uh, this is a very important month to me as well as others throughout the community who have grown up with mentors who've helped us navigate college to career, helped us to uh, navigate the challenges of our community and just build the self-esteem and awareness necessary to be successful. This evening we have a few organizations represented. I represent the Charles Hamilton Houston Foundation, which works with young men of color in high school and college to help them understand what their career pathway is and also to connect with internships and other work-based learning opportunities and help them transition to full-time employment. I also have with me uh, the MBK, My Brother's Keeper Durham Coordinator, Mr. Edmund Lewis. We'll be working together to have an event on Tuesday, January the 16th at Mellow Mushroom where we're the goal of My Brother's Keeper in the month of January is to have 31 mentors in 31 days. We also have Atreus Good. He represents Movement of Youth as well as Mentors Carolina. That is an organization that is going to be working to expand mentoring, pro quality mentoring programs and provide support to organizations in North and South Carolina. And we also have with us the president of Men and Vision, Steve Chalmers, which is working in the McDougal Terrace neighborhood to provide uh, mentoring to young people and help improve quality of life for families. So thank you so very much for this opportunity and thank you for your support and continuing efforts to provide with young people in this community with meaningful opportunities as well as supporting mentors. Thank you very much to Warren. Thank you, Council Member Reese. And now we will uh, have a, a proclamation honoring the life of the late Martin Luther King Jr. And I'm going to ask Mayor Pro Tem Johnson if she would uh, do the honors. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I believe that this is also uh, being presented to <laughs> Mr. Jamar and Lang, you want to come back up? Um, and the Durham uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Steering Committee. Proclamation honoring the life of the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Whereas a champion of justice, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. devoted his life to strengthening the content of the American character and fought unrelentingly for the civil rights of all Americans and taught us that through nonviolence, that courage displaces fear, love transforms hate, acceptance dissipates prejudice, and mutual regard cancels enmity. And whereas Dr. King helped to organize efforts, plan events, and lead marches to advance the rights of African Americans to vote, for desegregation, for recognition and respect for labor rights, and to ensure other basic civil rights. And whereas Dr. King was one of the leaders of the successful Montgomery bus boycott in 1955 and helped found and served as the first president of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference in 1957 to coordinate and support nonviolent direct action as a method of desegregating bus systems across the South. And whereas between 1960 and 1964, Dr. King made addresses in Durham, North Carolina at White Rock Baptist Church, the Durham Business and Professional Chain, Hillside High School, Jack Tar Hotel to the Southern, Politi Southern Political Science Association, North Carolina College, now North Carolina Central University, and Duke University, urging civil disobedience and nonviolent protests to end racial segregation and discrimination. And whereas Dr. King helped organize the 1963 nonviolent protests in Birmingham, Alabama, that drew national attention to the struggle for, for civil rights and to the hateful and brutal responses of the local law enforcement and helped organize the March on Washington during which he <laughs> delivered his eloquent and moving I Have a Dream speech. And whereas he helped to organize the monumentally inspiring Selma to Montgomery marches in 1965 to advocate for passage of the Voting Rights Act to guarantee African American citizens the right to vote, and whereas Dr. King was supporting the garbage workers in Memphis, Tennessee and planning the Poor People's Campaign to promote economic justice when he was assassinated in Memphis in 1968. Now, therefore, I, Stephen M. Shule, mayor of the city of Durham, do hereby honor the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. for his service and dedication in his committed work towards a free and just world, and hereby urge all citizens to take special note of this observance in celebrating and honoring Dr. King as we reflect on his life in the fulfillment of his dream. Witness my hand in the corporate seal of the city of Durham, North Carolina, the second day of January, 2018. Stephen M. Shule, Mayor. Good evening, Mr. Uh, Mayor. Good evening, distinguished members of the city council. Good evening. I feel like I'm too tall for the mic. <laughs> well, you're following Mayor Pro Tem Johnson. That's right, that's exactly right. I, I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> However, I, my name is William Lucas, Pastor William Lucas, and I'm the chair of the Durham MLK Steering Committee. And tonight, we want to thank you for being a part of a city that would stop to honor a man named Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The name itself represents so many virtues. It represents love, grace, mercy, kindness, goodness, freedom, etc. And for you to stop and honor Dr. King and for us to live in a city where individuals would take time to do that, we, the Durham Committee, do not take that lightly. We thank you for this honor. And as we continue to live out the legacy of Dr. King and to remember the legacy of Dr. King, this year we will um, <coughs> remember 50 years since his assassination. We still have a lot of work to do. Our committee every year tries to honor that with uh, various programs that we held have throughout the city. Also, we try to honor that by keeping the dream alive through an ecumenical service that we have this month. This is the beginning of our services. We consider this a part of the program this year. So again, we wanna thank you for honoring Dr. King and all the virtues that he stood for. We have several members here 
uh, standing behind me that are members of the uh, committee. And I'm going to ask if anyone is in the audience that is a member of the Durham Martin Luther King Jr. Steering Committee, would you stand at this time? Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, City Council. Thank you, Pastor Lucas, and the rest of the folks that are representing the Martin Luther King Steering Committee. Uh, I would just want to say to the members of our public that on that weekend, uh, not only on Monday, but on other days of that weekend, there are wonderful celebratory events here in Durham, and I urge everyone to uh, check out uh, your various sources of information to find out when they are, because uh, it's always a it's always a great it's always a great weekend in Durham. And I urge everyone to try to, I'll, I'll certainly be at several of the events, very much look forward to it, and I, I know a lot of other people will be as well. So thank you all so much. Are there any announcements by members of the council? Mr. Mayor, I have an announcement. Council Member Middleton. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Happy New Year uh, to everyone. Uh, Mr. Mayor and fellow council members, last night I attended a vigil um, hosted by Bull City Durham as part of their uh, week of peace. Uh, to commemorate uh, victims of gunfire in our city from the last year, and also to call on our community uh, to unite together to combat uh, gun violence. And I want to just uh, publicly uh, acknowledge uh, Bull City United and congratulate them on their work. I do also want to say, Mr. Mayor, that vigils, by definition, are held after the fact, after something happens. And uh, I heard a number of people from the community last night uh, say, we need to do this, we need to do that, we need our government to do things. Well, I want to say uh, to activists throughout the city and, and community members uh, that I, this council, I know I speak for this council, want you to feel just as comfortable coming to this chamber as developers do. Uh, oftentimes, we do things as a council because people ask us. We change zoning designations, we dole out incentives because people ask us. If you have ideas or requests or recommendations of your government, uh, things that you think we can do uh, to silence gunfire in our city, and we've made some progress in terms of homicides this year, <laughs> but we still got some work to do on gunfire, you should feel just as comfortable coming to this chamber as multimillionaire developers. Nothing wrong with that, uh, but this is your chamber as well. Uh, and I heard uh, a number of our community members say we need help from the city, we need us to do things well. This is your chamber. Please come and let's stop just lighting lights after the fact. Let's light a light before the fact and keep it burning as we move forward during this year. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Happy New Year. Thank you for those comments. Anyone else? All right. Thank you for those excellent comments, Council Member. Uh, and now um, we're going to uh, we'll get to the priority items. Are there any prior priority items by the City Manager? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the Council. Good evening. And I, too, want to wish everyone a Happy New Year, and to report that the City Manager's Office does no priority items this evening. Thank you, Mr. Manager. City Attorney, any priority items? Thank you, Mr. Mayor, no priority items. City Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, no items. Thank you very much. And now we'll move to the consent agenda. <coughs> uh, the, this, the next order of business is the consent agenda. All items on the consent agenda may be approved by a single vote unless an item is removed by a council member or a member of the public for separate consideration at the end of the meeting tonight. And I'm going to read each of these consent agenda items. Item one, approval of city council minutes. Item three, municipal record retention and disposition schedule amendments. Item four, FY 18-19 budget development schedule. Item five, FY 2017-18 grant project ordinance amendment for U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Community Development Block Grant, Home Investment Partnerships Agreement, Emergency Solutions Grant, and Housing Opportunities for Persons with HIV AIDS Performance Grant. Item six, Option Contract and Commitment of Subordinate Financing for the Jackson Pettigrew Street Development with Self-Help Ventures Fund and DHIC Inc. Item seven, the City of Durham and North Carolina Department of Transportation Grant Project Ordinance for the Downtown Transportation Study. I have a question on item, Mr. Mayor. All righty, uh, we'll pull item seven. Item eight, master agreement for bicycle facility design. Item nine, amend chapter 15, part 15-120, hydrant meter deposits and rental rates of the fee schedule. Item 10, bid report for November 2017. 
Uh, I will now entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda with the exception of item seven. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? If not, Madam Clerk, will you open the vote? Close the vote. <laughs> Motion passes 6-0. Thank you very much. And now we'll move to item seven. Uh, council member? Oh, is there a staffer? <clears throat> this is gonna be real quick. I love the uh, amount of money that the city's got to pony up uh, for this most important study, but I, I noticed, um, and I, I apologize for not bringing this up at the work session, I noticed some language uh, in the memo that said, due to the nature of this agreement, this item was not reviewed for compliance with the ordinance to promote equal business opportunities in city contracts. I was just wondering, what is the particular nature of this uh, agreement that exempts it from uh, that type of consideration? Okay, Terry Bellman, Director of Transportation, City, Happy New Year, man. City of Durham. Uh, the reason why that statement is in there because the funding that we receive is federal funding. The federal funding has a minority and women business program which is stipulated, which is separate from the local uh, program. And so that's the reason why that statement is in there. Secondary question is, is that it is also a professional service agreement, but it does note that it follows the federal regulation as it relates to minority and women businesses. Great, and we don't, we have not determined who's conducting the study yet, right? This is just what interest is. Uh... Right, right now the RFQ is, uh, just came back. Right. We, we received the packages uh, right before the, the holiday break. Uh, it'll be reviewed by a panel and we'll come back with a selection. Gotcha, Councilman Livingston, this, this is just the grant project ordinance which establishes the, uh, the funding authority. Gotcha, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Terry. That's it for me. Is there any other business that, to come before the council? Item. Need... Oh, I'm sorry. Can I have a motion to approve the item? So moved. <laughs> Second. Uh, uh, is there any discussion? If not, uh, Madam Clerk, will you please open the vote? Close the vote. Motion passes 6-0. Thank you very much. You all can see I'm still getting the hang of this. Is there any other business to come before this body? If not, I'm happy to say that this meeting is adjourned at 721 p.m. Thank you all for being here tonight, and Happy New Year. I should say to the scouts, it's not always this quick. <laughs>